Hi, you guys. Um, I wanted to come on here and make a video telling you guys about deliverance from the kundalini spirit. Maybe you don't know about the kundalini, but a lot of people do. But in case you don't, let me tell you what the kundalini is. The kundalini is a demonic spirit. And yes, Christians can have demons. Yes, I know many pastors teach that they can't, but that's just not the truth. And um, this video is I'm not trying to prove to you Christians can have demons, but they can. And the kundalini is a demon spirit that has entered into the body of Christ. And um, a lot of charismatic Pentecostal kind of churches, you'll see the kundalini spirit there. If you ever see people just um, laughing at the most, like, not appropriate times, that's the kundalini spirit. Or if you see someone just acting like, like, like that's the kundalini spirit. That's a demon manifesting it. Probably the kundalini spirit or another spirit. Um, there's some other great videos that like really give a better demonstration than what I'm saying about the kundalini and what it is. So I encourage you to look it up on a YouTube video on YouTube. But um, a lot of people, I'm infected. With the kundalini spirit. And a lot of people don't believe that we can be delivered from the kundalini spirit. But, um, that's a lie. That's a lie, you guys. It's a lie that I've believed for a long, long time. That there is no hope for me. That I will be stuck with this demon <coughs> spirit until the day I die. But lately I've come into this place where... I have the faith to get delivered, and I, I know that God can deliver me from this kundalini spirit. I have, I have chased after deliverance like you wouldn't believe. I live a life of com constant torment with an entity that is in my head that makes my head convulse and causes pressure in my head that leaves me in tears. Oh, and it messes with my mind <clears throat> and my thinking pattern. And um, every time I try to push, push through and praise and worship or reading the scriptures, the demon manifests and creates lots of wonderful pain to detour me from continue to read the scriptures and continuing to you know really seek God's presence and and um draw close to him the the enemy like is it will manifest as i talk to you now this demon is manifesting in the back of my head you cannot see anything because demons are invisible unless you um, can see into the spirit realm with your your eyes and see the demons which I do believe is a gift that God gives people sometimes but I don't have it I'm grateful for it that I don't have it but I do I have experienced them attacking me but we're not going to that <laughs> I have lots of videos on those on that on my channel if you want to check it out but the thing is, I wanted to come on here and do this video because I want you guys to know that God is a deliverer. I have sought deliverance from this spirit, from man. I have uh, drove nine hours to Arizona from California to get deliverance and did not receive it that it did not last the demons came right back and I prayed a million prayers I have I bought a book I've read over and over again from um uh, a deliverance prayer a, a deliverance prayer book um and <clears throat> I've done everything in my 
power to get rid of these. I have tried to get self-deliverance by putting my hands on my head and commanding them to leave for hours. And I, I do it until the pain that they cause is so bad that I can't do it anymore. That I can't command them to come out anymore. And um, uh, this is a, a very defeating feeling. Not being able to get it out and having to endure it. Um, it's really a, an amazing testament to, to God and how his mercies are new every day. Because um, there's been many days where I feel like I just can't go on anymore. And I, I can't do it anymore. And then like I'll feel joy again the next day and the pain's not so bad so God he gives me mercy and grace to get through it but I like I said I, I really wanted to come on here to just plant that seed of encouragement and you guys that do have this spirit this kundalini spirit a lot of a lot of born again believers have the spirit and they want to be free from it and I think a lot of us have this lie in our mind that we can't be delivered from it but we can but people are not our deliverer like God did say put your hand on people and cast out demons but um, I've done that and it didn't work for me so I have a new strategy my strategy is leaning on God because um, it's by his Holy Spirit, so, like, it's his timing, you know, so, like, I've leaned on God this whole time, and I haven't been delivered, but, like, this time, like, before I, let me see, okay, I sound, okay, what's different about this time, this time, I don't know. I I was I was watching a video on faith on healing scriptures and something clicked with me this time and I'm just like I'm going to believe it, you know. I do. I believe that God's going to heal me. I believe that he can heal any um person from the kundalini spirit. I'm not, I'm not going to give up this fight. I'm going to keep pushing through it, even if people around me who claim to be deliverance ministers and care so much, you know, want to ignore me. Like, fine. Fine. I don't care. Like, people don't care. They don't care because they don't go through what you go through. But God cares. God cares. And, um, I'm going to, um... I'm going to be delivered by God. God can go deliver this kundalini. I guess, like, I guess, I mean, I went after this deliverance in the past, and I had faith, and I wasn't delivered. But, um, and then I stopped having faith, but now I have faith again. I really do. And I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the Holy Spirit. But this time, I, I really feel like he's, like, telling me in the Spirit, I'm going to deliver you, and I want you to... Make a YouTube video and tell them that that I'm going to deliver them too. I believe that God is telling me that he's going to deliver me of this kundalini spirit. And that he is going to heal other believers of this kundalini spirit in these last days. And then he's going to, you know, use his people to really share his message and his gospel but this kundalini does affect our ministry in a big way it affects our thinking in a big way it affects our relationships with people because it affects our thinking stinking thinking <laughs> no but um it does it messes with our mind it <laughs> makes us have cloudiness and forgetfulness and just I don't even understand it all I need deliverance but um yeah 
I'm obedient. I did. I did the video. I shared my heart with you guys, so you can take it or leave it. You can call me crazy. It doesn't matter. You know, other people's opinions of me. They're not going to affect me anymore because I've learned not to let my um, identity be influenced by the opinions of others. I really hope that you guys were blessed by this video. And um, I'm having an extremely excruciating, painful night, so... Not, yeah. Anyways, God bless you guys. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.